Hi, welcome to another episode of the KB series of my channel. This is where I'll be explaining some basic computer networking terms and tasks. And in this video, we're going to see how we can use a DHCP server to automatically assign IP addresses to our devices. When we connect our devices, for example, computers, tablets, or smartphones to a network, they will need to have valid IP addresses before they can use that network. Now, there are two ways that I can assign an IP address to a device. Number one, manually, which is called a static IP address, and we cover it in that KB video. And number two, automatically by using a DHCP server, which we're going to talk about in this video. If a client device is set up to receive an IP address automatically, then as soon as I connect it to the network, it will try to discover a DHCP server and then request for an IP address. So that actually means two things. Number one, a DHCP server is a device that can assign IP addresses to the clients. Number two, I need to have a DHCP server in my network to be able to do that. And luckily the wireless routers we have are also DHCP servers. For example, I have an ASUS wireless router and this is where I can set up its DHCP server. When the DHCP server is enabled, then I can specify a DHCP scope which is a valid range of IP addresses that are available for assignment to the clients. Obviously, depending on my network address, this could be different. For example, in my case, this is my network address and here there are 254 IP addresses available. The very first one though has already been taken by the wireless router itself. So there are 253 IP addresses left in the DHCP scope. Now, I can also exclude some of the addresses from the DHCP scope in case I need to manually assign them to some of the clients. Least time means for how long a client can use the assigned IP address. The default time here is this, which is 24 hours. And after that, the client either has to renew that or get a new IP address. This can make it possible to reuse IP addresses. In this example, if a client is no longer connected to the network, after 24 hours, its IP will be available in the pool again and can be assigned to another device. Now, there are some other options that can be sent to the clients along with the IP address. For example, if there is a domain name that my clients need to know, I can type it here, otherwise I can just leave it blank. Or I can enter a specific default gateway for the clients. If I just leave it blank though, the IP address of the router will be assigned as the default gateway. Or if there is a DNS server or Win server, I can also enter their IP addresses here. If I don't enter anything for the DNS server, the router itself will process the DNS requests. And finally here, if I want, I can manually assign a specific IP address to a specific device. I just need to enter the device's MAC address and the IP address that I want it to get. And from now on, every time that device connects to this network, it will receive this IP address. But don't confuse this with statically assigning an IP address to a device, because this way it is still the DHCP server that is assigning the IP address. But it will always assign the same IP address to this device as long as it is connected to this network. Whereas that way the IP is going to be assigned to the network adapter of the computer, and regardless of what network it is connected to, it will use the same IP address. Thank you very much for watching this KB video. Please like it if you liked it and subscribe if you like to see more. Thank you again and I will see you soon.